Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Uh, this is good. Yeah. Um, so how are you doing? I'm doing well. Just uh, sort of working on some uh, document management stuff for reader and author. Very, very, very basic stuff. So I think it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I find that, um, well, the survey that I did of students for my PhD found that uh, the second biggest problem is um, how to find a document once you've read it. Yeah. So criteria. So, yeah. And reference managers are kind of evil. So that's the issue. Yeah. Uh, one second, please. I have to turn up my volume. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I think I should do that in Zoom. Uh, just have to find the setting somewhere. Uh, audio. So that's me. Uh, can okay. I think. One two three. One two three. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've I've been thinking about this issue uh, a lot, and yeah, it's it's not that easy. Uh, so what what's your uh, your argument against uh, citation managers? Oh, I think they're evil because they shouldn't have to exist. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, that, that's only, that, that's really the main point. You know, in my other world, doing art stuff, I use um, Adobe Lightroom and stuff, so I really don't mind software helping you organize information, of course not. Mm -hmm. But what I find bad about citation managers is that they're not citation managers, they are databases. So they don't actually modify the PDF. So the PDF still doesn't know what it is, as of course, with visual meta, it does know what it is. Uh, and that means that you still need the citation manager to do a citation. So if you're reading something, and then you want to cite that document, you can't just suddenly cite it. Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, that's a huge issue. And this is one of the problems I generally have with applications. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're great tools out there, but they always seem to be a, a bit disrupting to, to your workflow. So, um, so I have various uh, tools, for instance, to draw sketches. Uh, Inkscape and uh, others. And it's always a pain to work with these many applications because it's really just one, uh, uh, let's say, artifact that you want to manipulate and now uh, you're, you're stuck with, uh, with all these options and somehow they, they just don't uh, compose. And yeah, I mean, as for, for the citation managers, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's also uh, a big issue. And I don't know. Uh, uh, are there any? Uh, is there any particular topic you would like to talk about today? Oh um, no, not necessarily. Okay. I'm, um, I mean, let's see. Yeah, today is a general future of text day. That's so I'm good. Happy to engage with uh, basically anything. But, that's uh, uh, sorry. What's that? I just said that's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, yeah. So I, I think there's a lot we can uh, we can go through. Yeah, perhaps it will also help me in <laughs> writing. 
And so if, yeah. Oh, if you want to talk about what you want to write, yeah, that would be a good yeah, idea. I, I, I think that it would make things a lot easier because I always tend to write myself into to narratives that, <laughs> that just uh, uh, lead to nowhere. And yeah, I, I get, maybe it's also a problem of honesty. I mean, uh, so I, perhaps I just haven't really uh, figured out the, um, you know, the main issue. And I, I just want to talk, would, would like to talk about a, a few things that uh, I've been thinking about. And so that I know whether the generated direction is um, useful. Yeah, it shoots. I'm very happy to listen. That's great. It's also a bit of a relief. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the hard part is that, and I haven't mentioned this, and I shouldn't mention this uh, uh, in public, but uh, you know, I spent an enormous amount of time researching all kinds of different technologies because, yeah, I mean, I'm very much concerned about, about integration, yeah. but mainly because what I want uh, in my interactions with computer systems is a certain kind of uh, directness, which has many facets. But and just the one that I've mentioned with the sketching tools, and the same, of course, uh, uh, goes for writing because uh, you know it. Uh, um, there are various writing tools. I mean, sometimes I write in Datech uh, when it's necessary, and it it has some yeah, of course, convenient affordances. Sometimes I use Markdown, so that's uh, a Markdown editor just to publish stuff on on, on GitHub. And sometimes uh, the LibreOffice writer. And the problem is that uh, I mean, at some point, I mean, you uh, you are you are doing great work with uh, with your authoring tools, and which uh, will help students to, to 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 write to organize their research. And at some point, I think the question is, uh, uh, where do you focus your effort on? Because I think. Of course, many many tools can be improved. Uh, so you so research, so you spend a lot of time also thinking about uh, good user interfaces and uh, on YouTube you show specific interactions with with writer. And I always think to myself, hey, I mean that's great, and I really would like to have uh, that particular feature. But then you have the problem. I mean there are loads of text editors, loads of writing tools. So there's the options, do you start entirely from scratch? I mean, and it's also a kind of, uh, of difficult because uh, as you mentioned in your, uh, in your uh, infrastructure paper, and as I've also read in, uh, in Nicolas Wirtz, a plea, for, a plea for lean software, it also mentions that, yeah, engineering is, uh, is uh, good engineering is, is about uh, improving and, and polishing. And with so many options uh, that we have today with, with so many tools, uh, in particular many tools that are found in the web, I mean, how exactly can you make a, a, a lasting improvement? In particular, in, in those environments of software systems which uh, uh, you don't truly uh, quote unquote own, and which uh, and even the even source the open source projects are, uh, of course, they are governed by. I mean, the decisions have to uh, are made uh, either in a democratic fashion, uh, or perhaps uh, somebody is, is uh, has the last word in all decisions. And so even if you have an improvement, I mean, getting these things upstream, yeah, just for one feature uh, would already be a problem. And the thing that I want to say is that uh, with writing and uh, with all the interactions we want to explore, there are these compounding effects. So it's not just about um, having, having this one particular feature, it's also about having a, a consistent uh, user experience and to, 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 to have synergies be between um, all these features. For instance, that's the last thing <laughs> uh, I want to say. 
also there are, I mean, there are things like spatial hypertext and and note cards and in various kinds of uh, there are various kinds of, of products and I will also think yeah well it would be nice to 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 arrange uh, my writings or the PDFs in a let's say in a in a on a canvas an infinitely large canvas and and an operating system there are, there are ways to do this but again. Uh, this would be uh, uh, an, another, perhaps, uh, uh, huge project. And so it means that even making uh, making increments uh, uh, seems to be uh, seems to be a bit hard. And so these are the things um, that I have been investigating, and also uh, components. Because what what I thought about is, I mean. Is it possible, and I know it's a dangerous question, but somehow I think it would be nice yeah, that you, know, you have building blocks to, to construct your own, your own text editors. And yeah, I mean, there, there are software which you read as a, as a um, tool such as Atom, which allow you to write plugins, but uh, is, Problem is these frameworks are often very huge, and most of the time I know how to write uh, text editors, so I'm familiar with many how com many components in systems and how they work. Sometimes I just want to get to the parts and assemble them, and having a kind of kit uh, to do this, I think this would be also interesting, such that uh, other researchers or programmers or even users can uh, can. Uh, fiddle around and 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 adapt the the tools that they're using to their needs. So that's the line of thinking. Yeah, uh, when you talked about users at the end, uh, yeah, I think that's really um, the whole thing. I think because yeah. the thing is, when I first started looking at um, text interaction and information and all of that stuff a long, long time ago. Uh, I kept coming up with a different definition of information again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Really frustrating. And then it, it, um, I, I just decided, okay, um, there is no such thing as information in general. I know we talked uh -huh. about this together before. Yeah. So that means that text for a lawyer, a student, and a waiter are very different things. Yes. So, so when it comes to what you're talking about, I honestly think what you need to do is just put a stake in the ground and say, this is my user. And okay. if your user is yourself, great. Yes. Well, it, it would be me, yes. Uh, so, because you see, I mean, there, there are loads of papers on, on end user programming. And uh, recently, I, I know yesterday, I, I found uh, a, uh, an idea at MIT, and I forgot the name. And what they were exploring is to, to have uh, programmable interfaces in a texture style, such, for instance, that you can say, I don't know, uh, margin left five pixels. And the, this, the thing that you're working with uh, would pick up on this and, and translate uh, this, this request to, to actually, um, yeah, the, uh, to the way the internal software system understands this request. And, uh, and this is interesting because uh, I've been, uh, because it's not it's not just about about the end user because programmers all also have the problem that uh, it's often difficult to understand uh, how a particular piece of software works and you really don't want to care uh, too much about the internal stuff so we just want to phrase uh, your intent and um, I mean to some degree, Smalltalk has been or should have been about this, and I often wonder what happened if 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 LNK actually, uh, if, if the Xerox Parks they actually burned the disk bags. And I think this is generally uh, a, a direction uh, I'm also exploring, and I mean I'm coming up with an uh, with an architecture for this thing, 
So I don't think it's necessarily too hard. And I think there's also overlap uh, with some of, of your requirements such that uh, when you have uh, uh, author, for instance, and you just want to say, um, I don't know, uh, please uh, make, uh, 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 please remind me uh, to, to revise that particular paragraph that I'm working on or to ask somebody uh, advice and because the problem is uh, with the uh, Xerox user interface that we're also familiar with is that you you can't just convenient I mean you you have buttons and controls but at some point uh, you you run out of space and uh, it's also from a a programming point of view and user interface uh, design point of view you have all to make these choice these choices. Uh, how to to present the the options that you have with the soft and you can't really um, you can't really have every option uh, being represented in a classic user interface. So I think the text based approach we have try to to interact with the system in a yeah perhaps uh, in a manner which is not not necessarily uh, re reflected in the user interface might be interesting and uh, I think that a lot of progress uh, could be made uh, even in, 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 in that regard. So let me ask you then uh, on a completely different uh, yeah. tack, what do you think are the biggest problems in the world right now? In the world, oh, that's that's a that's a big question. I it's mean, the biggest question, yeah. Uh, this is, I can't, uh, I can only answer that from from my point of view. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, I think uh, perhaps this is what what Doug also uh, um, was trying to communicate is that. I think it's important uh, that we are able to, to make informed decisions. And I mean, there are lots of problems such as fake news and now we have the uh, COVID pandemic and uh, centralization is an issue. I mean, I know that at last conference, uh, Belinda Barnett talked about uh, the big four. And I don't know, I think many, <laughs> I think many problems uh, can be perhaps addressed by, by looking at some uh, at how how computing was conceived in the past. So having no centers and having uh, distributed communities. Uh, this is why I really like the idea, the distributed model, uh, which I was uh, discussing with uh, with Chris and. Uh, I mean, my stance is mainly um, is is uh, it's, it's it's well, it's really difficult to explain uh, because there were so many missed opportunities. I'm not talking about problems within computing. I'm talking about yeah. problems in the world. Let's say climate change or politics. If what of those types of issues, what do you think are the biggest? Politics, I guess. Uh, climate change is, of course, an issue, but it's all everything is, is politics, really. Uh, so uh, perhaps education is the is the is the biggest issue that uh, that I can think of. The, the so education. Yes, education, making right. making decisions for yourself, to be encouraged uh, to to think for yourself, to to judge, and yes. I think that's important uh, and the way I perceive it is that uh, we in the news for instance there is a kind of opinion uh, which is popular and many people just seem to follow that uh, that opinion uh, maybe because uh, there might be many motivations behind that but I think the key is that uh, eventually uh, you you should uh, you should um, think about I mean climate change and politics and 
it's all very very difficult and i think it, it has to do with uh with with centralization because uh because what we have for instance in austria and it's in other countries uh, perhaps it's the same system is that we give away responsibility so we always say well uh, somebody else is responsible for that, and we express this by making vote by voting, for instance. Right. And, and I don't think that this is the way it should be done. Uh, I mean, of course, you can't be an expert on everything, but I think it is it's important to to engage more in 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 in, in conversation and to yeah just uh, learn to develop a um, yeah, a more thorough understanding of things from many different uh, perspectives. And this is difficult now because, yeah, we have information, uh, let's say, it's not really information, but we, we are drowning in data. And I think there also have been regresses in science. Uh, because the way I see this, that, uh, you know, it's, it's it's about uh, how, how should I phrase it? The thing is, people uh, 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 now uh, at, in earlier times uh, the church people trusted the church, and now they trust uh, scientists. And in some ways, I think it also has become kind kind of a religion, where just people quote other scientists and rely on their judgments and instead of thinking about issues uh, for themselves. And I think many issues can be, uh, can be answered by just uh, reflecting and, and developing your, and trusting your intuitions. Though, so, of course, they can also be wrong. So I think uh, this is kind of an issue. Also an issue is that uh, many decisions are made at places uh, very remote places and uh, made in for and and where they should shouldn't be made so uh, politicians for instance uh, often are not really aware um, of the particular uh, problems that uh, people face in an environment uh, such it could be because uh, <laughs> Uh, there is this kind of remoteness, which I think is is also also a problem. And this is, I think, why many pro people also have problems uh, with the uh, European Union, because yeah, many decisions they can't be uh, decided uh, from top to down. So, yeah, I think but, that makes sense. Yeah. So, so I, yeah. So hearing all this, I have great sympathies for what you're talking about, uh, and my question is. Um, if you, let's say someone hired you to do this, so you really had to choose, would you want to work towards kind of citizen involvement or would you want to work towards uh, augmenting a, a student? Let's just start with that. Uh, yeah, as I, I would be interested in augmenting um, a student because this is an area that I'm most familiar with and I know from my own experience uh, with university and the way how I, how I, I learned that there can be, can be much, uh, there should be much improvement should be made in that, in that area. And that begins with reading, writing and uh, yeah, and various ways to just help a, a student to uh, to get organized. <laughs> Perhaps I'm not the best example, but because at the moment I'm a bit disorganized, but I think this would make uh, a huge improvement and uh, also to, to make connections because I think I'm not really happy the way it, uh, about the, well, let's say the way education works uh, in, in most um, uh, institutes. So, uh, when I studied computer science, there were lots of interesting topics and we had to, to learn about many different things, but seeing them in connection is an entirely different matter. So I yeah. think this is yeah. why connections are so important. And uh, yeah, if I just 
jump back quickly to computing. I think many problems that we have, uh, we wouldn't have if uh, actually we would see that it's not enough just to, for instance, work on a database. Um, if I don't uh, think about how, how it fits into the rest of the system. And so it's the same, I think, with general education. So you have, you have to, uh, to, combine, to combine insights and to come up with, with a worldview instead of, of learning lots and lots of stuff about very specific things. And, and then at, at the end, you are left with, uh, with piecing together uh, how, it, uh, with, how, it, or how it makes sense and, or how it could make sense. Yeah. So that's the way I feel about it. That's how I looked at uh, doing this originally uh, with my PhD work. Uh, that's, have you had a chance to see what I've done with the dynamic view and author? Uh, have you recently posted uh, um, a video on this or is it far, farther back in the past? Oh, way back in the past. Thank oh, you. then I have, to, I, I guess I have to catch up with that. I mean, I looked at uh, some of your work, but not, not all of it. Oh, so no, that's, that's fine. It's not very... Um, very interesting in that sense, but it's just welcome on. to author regarding what you're saying here. Uh, one second, mm -hmm. yeah, there's so many videos now, it's a little bit very messy. Um, Yeah, maybe this one, let me just uh, Okay, I'm gonna give you a link now. Good. Uh, uh, here in the chat window. Yes, there it is, it doesn't want to be. Sending it to you privately, because that's all we want to do. If it just, Thanks. Yeah, uh, have a look at that. I'll have to step up for just a second. Back in yes. So you had a chance to look at that, right? Yes, yes, uh, and I have looked at it before. Oh, okay. So, you, so you know what that is. Fine. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I th yeah. Sorry. No. No, I, I was just going to say. So the point of that um, that dynamic view is um, that you can put things everywhere, and it relates to the mm -hmm. main document. But that is because my work is all about a student has to deliver a paper. Yes. Because I find it really useful to have an end work product in mind. Hang on, what? 
Oh, okay, cool. So someone wrote a comment on that I hadn't seen. Right, so, <laughs> yeah, so the, the thing is, like, um, the, um, the liquid space uh, web load that Chris has been working on is absolutely amazing. But as we have yeah. discussed, and as he agrees, it quickly gets very, very messy. And what I'm going to hopefully be able to do here in my dynamic view is quite simply to allow the user to paste in citations so they can have a way to look at how documents are connected. Um, and that may be useful, but the complexity that arises out of that, because A, uh, citation information is messy, and B, uh, there are so many variables and, and so on, it's really difficult, so that's going to be a major project. Uh, to then have ideas of, you know, like visual graphs where you have concepts on there mm -hmm. is useful too. But the thing is, when this is kind of formalized, it becomes very staid. I personally think that it's the interaction that is really, really important. Um, so j just helping a student Okay, so, all right. In your case, from what you said, what I would suggest you do is, you've probably done it just for sake of discussion. Think of a student learning a very specific thing. Think of the concepts within that thing, DNA or history, whatever it might be. And wondering what kind of, you know, you are then the student, you sit down at the workspace. You know, I've just read it. Okay, for instance, okay, here's the thing. You may have heard me mention Hamilton, the musical, right? Yeah. Uh, you have to see it, it's amazing. Anyway, so like me, I've started reading on the history of Hamilton and there's a lot of concepts there and there's a lot of dates and all these things. If I was learning this as a student, what would I need? I would need a timeline, that's for sure. And then I would need some way to link the different documents. You know, then it becomes real, is what I'm trying to say, because otherwise, if you look at what some of our friends have been doing, if it stays loose, there isn't anything tangible, you can't really make anything happen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, you make uh, yeah, some very, very uh, important points, yes. Uh, so, but yeah, making this work, poof, uh, I mean, I've been thinking about how, um, how we, uh, yeah, we, we can have these features perhaps in an orthogonal way. And it's, I mean, it's, it's really difficult. And as you said, with, um, you know, uh, just making citations work and, is is a issue and then you have a timeline yeah for a timeline you have you need a visualization the nice thing is yeah on the web yeah, there are thousands of examples but the timelines uh, but to build them building them yourself uh is uh is a bit of a pain and now again you have to work in a special tool so having this in one place where you can can actually connect all the pieces together um uh, would be yeah would be uh, tremendously useful i mean uh, but i as of now i really haven't figured out um how how to do that um in a in a way such that uh, you such that the software won't collapse eventually on its own way so you don't want this either so i still have to do thinking about this uh, also about how how we can perhaps consolidate um, uh, resources because I'm what I like to read dialogues for instance so okay. when I want to, to figure out uh, who was Hamilton so I'm first of all I'm I'm really interested in 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 the personality and so I I want to see perhaps some some uh, some some dialogues or some. Uh, some very pertinent things that, that Hamilton say, said which are characteristic to him and then perhaps I would I would make comparisons to to other historical figures that I know and uh, yeah this, uh, I think this, this would be, be very exciting and, but then I, I also have to agree with you that that it's good 
that at some point um, you you have a specific result in mind because I know once you start with this thing you 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 never finish because more and more stuff keeps popping up and and you you begin to 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 to, to get disoriented and you forget what you were actually trying to to investigate so and i have very much that problem so and i think that's also a problem yeah i mean whether that's because of hypertext i don't know uh, but shaping this activity such that you have a result whatever it is i mean it could be just a timeline uh, is I think very important and to have then a let's say a finished piece of work that you can show to others and discuss as soon as possible uh, and then at the end come up I don't know with uh, uh, with your essay or maybe it uh, could be a thesis yeah I think there, there are lots of ways to uh, to do significant improvements the way I want to see improvements actually uh, in, in academia is that I think that uh, just the activity of... Um, so what I'm doing, for instance, is what I really like to do is I like to see common strengths, perspectives. For instance, um, let's take personal computing and uh, there are some philosophies, for instance, there's one philosophy that if you have a personal computer, then it must be uh, designed in a way such that you can comprehend its operations, comprehend uh, how it really works so that you can modify it and adapt to your tasks. So it's this uh, goal of simplicity and comprehensibility. And then Ingus has written and some uh, very interesting remarks on this. Also, Nikonos Wirt. Also, I know that uh, um, there are people developing programming languages who uh, who state that they uh, oppose uh, uh, software complexity or needless complexity. And this, in a sense, would be an interesting uh, line of, of inquiry because it would also help me to, to argue um, the, or to consolidate the different positions on, on software complexity such that I can substantiate uh, my work. And just consolidating these bits and pieces and putting them uh, in a narrative, uh, I think that's also an, that's, uh, would be very uh, helpful and also an activity that um, is, um, well, should be somehow in the future compensated, such that you see where are really the, 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 the com just the activity of, 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 of connecting things again and, and putting them into perspective, because occasionally you will want to comment, but uh, this idea of train blazers, um, I really like, but it hasn't to be exactly as, as Beniva Bush has in, envisioned, and it doesn't have to be productized, but just the activity, of, of weaving together commonalities, I think that's uh, that would be also super important and could change could change things because uh, I think we, we tend to lose uh, to forget uh, about the about the past and and many important insights and this again uh, could in general help with many problems could be also climate change for instance where draw up different perspectives or, or research data because right now I mean reading through any scientific paper let's say outside of the realm of of, uh, of hypertext and uh, text in general and, and, and personal commuting you are really I mean there's just numbers numbers and uh, and most research papers are really very hard to read. I think that's also a problem. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I find it hard to believe that uh, scientists really understand them, most scientists, if they haven't written themselves. Because, oh, what, yeah. yeah. No, 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 go on, go on, sorry. I'll ask in a minute. 
Well, I mean, I just want to say that at some point, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a bit off here now, but uh, I find it a bit frustrating that now science seems to be all about statistics. Uh, where in fact, it's much more than this. And uh, I think this might also cloud judgment or, or move people in the wrong direction. But the main goal is not to publish, because to make informed decisions or to, to form insights, but just to uh, to, to, to demonstrate uh, technicalities, um, such as, um, uh, uh, I can't find the word now. Uh, yeah, um, maybe it will come back later to me, but it seems to me it's more about technicalities and, and, and numbers than, than really insight, which is of course not entirely true, but I see that as a huge obstacle. So science is more interesting for you personally to work on, like hard science rather than history or humanities. Is that right? Uh, no, I, I, mm, I mm, just a good question. I uh, what I like to uh, mm, philosophy is what I find most interesting, and uh, having uh, to me it's. Mm, I mean, there are different views on, on, on science, but uh, I'm more interested in, in philosophy than, than hard facts, though they are, of course, necessary. But I think we're producing too many facts now. Yeah, but in, in terms of you actually working to help, as in for, for you to engage with, so is it, it is, is it writing scientific work for a student, is it reading it or is it learning about it? I think it's it's all of it. Uh, so you write in order to understand uh, yeah. and you read. So that's the cycle somehow. It's yeah, an intended process. So, and yeah, and, uh, understanding this process uh, and, and having better support, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's very, very, very important uh, because, um, you know, I can only say it from my limited perspective, but we didn't have enough discussions uh, and not enough uh, critical uh, um, arguments and framing arguments and criticizing, for instance, the, let's say, state of the art and or the way things um, are being done and learning this and engaging in this within uh, having a medium that helps you to do this uh, would, I think, vastly improve things in general. Yeah. Um... I mean, there's, you know, the hard thing with innovation, in my view, is you both have to think about something that doesn't exist, but also mm -hmm. have to realize the landscape into which it will be existing, of course. Mm -hmm. So what I mean is, um, it would be nice to re, you know, like rebuild something like NLS and Augment with Ted's ideas and make an incredible space, but it wouldn't be able to lock on to the academic workflow. So of course, that's why I'm all about, you know, the whole visual meta thing. But I think that if you want to attach how, you know, all these ideas, which are all very useful and all very frustrating, because you have many of them, and this is very much the problem Doug had. It was, yeah, but then there's this and then there's that. Yeah. You know, it, you kind of have to, I mean, okay, so here's the thing. When um, Chris Guthridge came back with this, with talking a bit about liquid space and so on, he emailed uh, a good description and I emailed it to my team, including Vint. Uh, Vint was asking questions and they were going back and forth. And Vint's very interested in the one window controlling another and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know it's really, really cool. It's really useful and it's pretty good tech. But as a designer, I don't care about that. I have chosen that I want to augment one person writing one document based on their reading, but I want that to both fit into the current academic workflow and 
and this is the dream, make it really richly interactive to help them think. And that means that there's a lot of things I'm not interested in. I'm not interested in social media, and I'm not interested in multiple authors making one document, simply because I have to focus and other people are doing that. So I think it goes for you too. You just have to decide on your own, have a coffee or whatever it is, this is the user doing this thing. If you want to do something like Roam and Notion or the brain of an amazing graph space, do that. But you have to make a decision. And finally, as a, as a point made at one of the futures of text uh, we hosted here in London by um, a, a friend of mine who was behind some of the very big deals such as Siri being bought by Apple and many other amazing, huge financial things. He said to my students, don't forget, you can always change what you do. But then we both agreed that the really important thing is you can only do that if you've done well. Mm -hmm. And many creative people that I've known in my life, they started little this and then they started little that. And we look at the time we have on this earth we have to finish my three-year-old little boy i'm trying to teach him whatever he does he has to learn to finish it yes right that's the same for you and me you know if you now decide to augment a single person or group or whatever it is even if you get frustrated by all these other things you have to finish it and i'm preaching this not from arrogance but because i suffer from the problem of not being very good at it no, I, 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 com I completely understand. So uh, I don't perceive it as arrogance at all. I mean, uh, I, uh, I, I have deep respect for what you're doing. So uh, I, I try to listen. Uh, just at the moment, I, you know, the thing is that I collected too many ideas and uh, I, it, I just can't seem to to control control this, uh, and uh, I so. Know the feeling. <laughs> and yeah, but you're absolutely right. I mean, at some point, you you have to make a decision, and this is what I'm asking myself: if I have to make a decision, of course, what would it be to improve? What would have the uh, perhaps not even biggest impact, but uh, to me, the most meaningful experience. And uh, uh, after all, uh, I am interested in, in uh, more technical issues and I uh, am interested in, in, in programming languages. But, uh, and I think one improvement of course would be that, uh, uh, that researchers, also in the, let's say, in the, the more techie departments uh, would perhaps uh, use uh, different tools such that they can actually weigh the consequences on their inventions or whether it's a good idea to further optimize a specific thing. But I think the main, I think I should cure myself first and I still have to, to come up with a convincing narrative or a um, a, a methodology um, regarding uh, how uh, technology uh, uh, sh should, uh, it's dangerous, should be shaped, I don't want to be normative, but you see the problem is that we're, that we're renting a whole lot of stuff and other people have to maintain this and there's more and more uh, technical debt and uh, this I find very problematic, uh, and also uh, in, say that again. What you find problematic? Uh, take uh, the technical debt, the complex, the unnecessarily unnecess the complications that we have to deal with, because I think uh, I mean you of course care about the specific workflow. I'm thinking about the implementation, and then I'm thinking about the many obstacles that. Uh, uh, as a programmer, you, you have to go through because, uh, I mean, you, you can't just take together a prototype. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, to test things, but at some point, I mean, you want to have students to work with, uh, with a working polished product. Uh, and it's the little improvements that do make large differences. And for that, I'm, I'm very much convinced. 
uh, that we need better tools because they seem to be uh, the bottleneck uh, right now because uh, there's so many things that you want to try and of course you have to commit one to one idea but it could be the wrong idea and now you have a problem because you have committed uh, a large portion of your time resources to actually make this thing real and then you figure out well it wasn't wasn't such a good idea after all uh, and and then uh, you have to be very careful about the next step that you're taking and uh, the way I see it is that uh, there needs to be m m far better improvements in, in in engineering that we have now such that you can say well here I'm having a really good idea a new kind of interaction uh, and I want to have this um, as soon as possible uh, and uh, you might have many other different ideas and accelerating this process I think is important because the way I see it is that when you look at the software that's being done so we have all this uh, um, this I don't know, there's, there's Reddit, for instance, there's services like Facebook and small services, time tracking software, for instance. But thinking, thinking about the enormous amount of effort that goes in just making one feature, one product really work well, yeah, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a bit of a problem that um, we are now to, stuck with uh, having to to work on one very, very uh, narrowly defined um, space. And that, that's, I think, that's a problem. From, and this is the thing that I'm actually after, to, to actually, uh, in my workflow, have uh, a, a far better process uh, of improving myself, of making myself more productive in creating software, such that the, uh, the, the ideas that emerge can be prototyped as quickly as possible. And this is, I have to say, uh, a bit of a fool's quest because <laughs> I am not at Xerox Park, and uh, when, even if I were, the situation is not different. And uh, I'm not an NK or Brad Victor, because Brad Victor is amazing. I mean, I don't know how he actually manages to uh, to, to to do his prototypes, but um, yeah, they are very impressive. They are very impressive. Yeah, though I don't know how they really combine them these ideas. And yeah, but I know my limitations. Uh, I know them very well, and working. And understanding why, um, how how these limitations occur, and uh, could be could be beneficial because um, I don't have the resources of, of a large corporation, and I think that's a good thing because uh, I have to go differently about things. And if I can improve uh, the if for some magic, if, if, if uh, I have this insight and, and improve the way uh, engineering is done, uh, then I think uh, the situation will also be better because people like you uh, can then uh, come to uh, have, have an easier time because working creative is so hard. I mean, uh, uh, coming up with a good idea, it takes a lot of work and, and effort and uh, and that's difficult enough to figure out the requirements. It's really difficult enough. And raising that bar a bit so that we can accelerate the engineering process. This is actually what I'm after. And this is enormously, this is enormously difficult. Uh, and partly because I am at a loss to communicate why this is even necessary. So um, I, I had some very disappointment uh, conversations with uh, people from, um, from engine, software engineering faculties that just don't have time or just say, well, the things, the way things are is, is, they, is inevitable and all that we can do is to 
to to improve um, on specific issues uh, for specific projects that I don't know are mostly not not about the, really about the user or, or and I see the program also as a user because we all share the, at some point share the same limitations. Yeah, some people are way better at math, but at some point uh, the the complexity uh, scales to uh, yeah to a point where no matter how how ingenious you are, uh, uh, you can't just you can't deal with it and. Uh, I mean, this is obvious, yeah, and I know that you know this. But to communi but communicating this to to other people, especially technical people, uh, is for some reason extremely uh, difficult because now they want to have they want to have proof, they want to have actual proof because I might be making things up, so perhaps things are not that bad because it's me who is the problem because I am a bad engineer and so forth. And then you have to play the science game. And that's already a problem because uh, the amount of time it takes to, to consolidate to, uh, statistics about uh, soft integration problems, for instance, would be enormous. And even then, uh, I wouldn't be nearly finished to, to make a case. And uh, so, uh, and with the way the, uh, the the literature search works right now, I mean it's it's damn slow. It's it's inefficient. I can't go to the ACM Digital Library or IEEE Library and say, "Hey, please give me all statistics uh, on, on 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 the problems on soft integration." I mean, hopefully, things better. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I would just um, have the relevant material. Um, and but even then, it wouldn't, of course, wouldn't be sufficient because I, I have to rearrange the stuff. And now then we had a text again, and and authoring. But yeah, but even this is a bottleneck. I imagine that I want to have all definitions of hypertext and um, just have a list of the year of publication, uh, the publication itself, the author name. I mean, how long would it take to, to get to this information? And so there's these huge bottlenecks in research that make uh, it difficult to build actually a case for, uh, for an improvement process. Because what I want to see really is that the computer science uh, departments would actually uh, assemble, uh, get together, and build their own systems. They are not doing this, and I, I, I don't know. I mean, I know why because there's no funding. Um, but um, eventually, I would like to see that uh, because I always see this necessary to improve the. the uh, our capabilities and to help people like you to to um, to realize ideas more quickly um, because there are too many bad ideas and uh, we have to 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 read them out as quickly as possible and, and I think we are at the stone age in, in that regard. I mean, it's a bit. Uh, I don't want to mean want to sound condescending or arrogant, but this is just the way I I I see things, and uh, and so I, I have been working on this for quite some time. Uh, but uh, it's uh, yeah, it, it's extremely difficult because I have to consolidate all these different uh, uh, fields of research. In each one, there's a diff. There's a there's a there are very important insights which have to be connected. Uh, yeah. Also, so, um, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, uh, this the, only for the sake that I want to have at some point order, and I want to have uh, I want to have a clear view, uh, and so I think things need to be put together too, not just publish and and other people have to figure out yeah um, where what's what is actually good for. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing um, you need to do now is become well known in your field for having done something towards yeah. this. Yeah. 
So you got a true. small, small thing, right? Yeah, uh, I think that's um, that's true. So I I I have <laughs> yeah I have to work on, on my credibility. That's the problem. <laughs> but you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, obviously, visually impressive is the easiest way to impress people. At least that's what I hoped when I did the dynamic view. But within the kind of stuff that you're doing now, can you see a problem that you can help solve that is visually impressive? That's just one question. That is visually impressive. Yeah, like a graph or some kind of whiz. Wow, look at that. Huh. I have to think about this. I really have to think about this. Visually impressive. Huh. That's a very good question. <laughs> uh, but I think it will take some time to... I mean, the graph. Yeah, what I would like to see is a, a bit of a landscape. So, uh, so what I what what I am more envisioning is a kind of a C map, yeah, and uh, where you have all these these different areas. You might say in computer science because that's the thing I'm most familiar with, and and you you can actually explore this map and see what people have done in the past, and but. Yeah, I guess it would be interactive, but that alone would be a, a huge project, and I'm not usually, um, I'm, not, I'm unfortunately not not an artist. Uh, but the only thing that I can do is, um, and what seems to be most probable, which is perhaps not vision, but I mean we have problems with with fine formats. We have problems uh, to. Um, because you have all this this files and they, they are not really alive yeah and you can do things like vision meta so that uh, you can actually um, make inquiries then on a document and yeah i think i've i've come up with an a bit of yeah of an architecture that's um that can perhaps help in in uh in well data integration oh, yeah. That's that's the main thing. That perhaps the most promising thing that I'm uh, that um, I could do. But but visually, mm, a bit difficult to to frame or to draw. Uh, well, hmm. because I'm more emotionally oriented. That's the problem. I I. I'm uh, guided by emotions mainly. Right, interesting. But what uh, are you on Linux or Windows? Uh, I, I'm using Linux at the moment. Linux, okay. So I guess to reach a large audience, you would probably do something web based, right? Yeah, I mean, I thought about. Um, uh, yeah, the, the many possibilities. Yes, uh, perhaps web-based, but also I thought uh, I thought about maybe improving my uh, my desktop a bit. So I think there are perhaps lots of little things that uh, uh, that can make a huge difference in, in productivity with with the system. And uh, yeah, I think this could be done. The problem is that too many distributions and uh, and you would be at the whim of the maintainers. So right. that's so that so yeah, it seems the web seems to be the only option. And may actually have been doing some work on creating a cleaner web environment where I can program in. But I suspect that this work will take another another year. And and that uh oof. And time speed running short. <laughs> so what I'd like you to do for the book is to quite simply write down your frustrations in a train of thought. Just right in the beginning, maybe a sentence or a paragraph saying, 
I'd like to help, I'd like to augment, I'd like to, you know, basically your big statement. And then just ramble on, because I think your rambles are very intelligent, and I think they really illustrate important issues of um, basically how bad our work environment is. So I think that could be very useful. I don't think, offering up a solution is a bit boring. Offering up a range of questions that people haven't even considered yet is very valuable. Well, well thank you. Uh, so, I mean, I, I didn't do this because I didn't want to, to, to sound arrogant because, yeah, I haven't come up with any, with any solutions and, and I'm, not, I'm not known for building any significant uh, piece of software. But if you think this is relevant and thank you again, then, yeah, then I can absolutely do this. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, I look forward to reading that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. That's, and, that's and it. If you, if you just show your frustration, you know, just be human. Don't, you know, just write for you, write from your emotions, as you said. Don't try to be formal or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That would be really great to see. All right, I look forward to continuing the conversation. I look forward to Thank you very much for the encouraching care. words. Uh, you too. Goodbye. Bye bye. Uh,